welcome back to um, school after the half term. I hope you all got to have some rest time, got to chill out a little bit, parents and children. Um, this is term four and we're starting a new topic. I'm just trying to make sure that I remember everything. I've just done this recording and didn't share the screen. So I'm doing a second take. So I'm hoping I remember everything. So when we start a new topic in school, we normally look at a title page, we look at the question, we ask lots of questions, we talk about what we already know, so our background knowledge already about it, and we write down what we want to find out. We, um, I think that's probably about it, that's that's what we're going to focus on today. So I'm going to share the screen before I forget. Okay, so the first thing is that you should have this title page. <laughs> Excuse me. You should have the title page. It needs to be stuck into your book. We always stick in a title page to show that it's the start of a new topic. So this is your title page, and it also means that you have got um, pictures to do our topic. You have got the question: How has Bristol's past shaped the present day? By the word Bristol's past, that tells me. Hmm. I think it's a history topic. It's going to focus on the Romans and the Anglo-Saxons. So if I can zoom out a little bit. The Romans, the pictures along the top and the pictures down the, the left hand side to there, they're all linked to the Romans. And the pictures down the right hand side and along the bottom, they are all linked to the Anglo-Saxons. OK, the main state of being is we'll be being historians. We will be doing some geography as well. There will also be some links to being philosophers, to being authors, being mathematicians, being artists. I think that's all. There might be one more. Can't remember. Um, our challenge at the end of this will be presenting information on how the Romans and Anglo-Saxons impacted present day Bristol. Now that sounds quite vague and not really um, clear on exactly how we're going to do that, but because we still don't know what's going to be happening with school, whether we will be in school, whether we'll be at home. So we've left it a bit open so that we could do something over Teams. We could be, it could be that you do something um, on like PowerPoint, for example. It could be that you, we get to do something in school where we get to make lots of work and we get to put it on display. We shall see. It's all still, um, still very unsure. So we've left that. That is, that is the challenge, but we will be presenting it in lots of different ways, I'm sure. But we also, whether we are at home, whether we are at school, there's not just going to be one way. You were going to have a bit of a choice as to how you present your work. Um, finally, there is some vocabulary here. We've got invaders, settlers, Romans, Anglo-Saxons, invasion, shield, strategy, legion, numerals, legacy, soldiers, Britain, conquered, monologue, that doesn't say monologue, I've missed an O. Um, I think yours I will have corrected by the time that I give it to you. Uh, aqueduct, mosaic, artefacts, primary source, secondary source, hypercost, abona and brigstone. OK, so that's some vocabulary that we'll be using. I'm sure there'll be more as well, but these are the ones that I could think of to start with that would be keywords that we'll be using. So first thing, first task is stick that into your book on a new page. Don't miss out any pages there. Second task, let's have a look at um, our PowerPoint. So here is our new title page. What questions do you have? That will move us on to task two. So task one was stick your title page in. Task two, write any questions that you have. So this is a new topic, um, but you might already know certain things. You might have seen some pictures there and thought, oh, you, you know, what 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 is that for? What what did that mean? Who was that person? Um, so if you go back to your sheet, looking at this, what questions do you have? What is this? Did a person pull that? Did a horse pull that? What was it called? How did it not fall over? It's only got two wheels. Um, what other questions would I have? This this money here, how much is it worth? What was it called? Um, who is this? This person has a, a crown on. Who is he? He seems a bit important. Who is he? Uh, yeah, so what questions do you have? That's task two. You can write as many or as few as you would like. Finally, task three is to draw a grid like this. So maybe turn your page sideways, perhaps. And you've got K, W and L. What I know, what I want to know and what I have learned. 
Now the learnt column, you're going to draw it on your book, but you're not going to write in it today. At the end of the topic, we will come back and we will fill in that column. The first column, what I know. So do you know anything about the Romans and Anglo-Saxons? If you don't, that's absolutely fine. That's the whole point. We, we need to know like what you already know and then um, and go forward from there. So if you don't know anything about the Romans and Anglo-Saxons, absolutely fine. If you know a little bit about them already, brilliant, put it in there. If you know lots, brilliant, put it in there. I might call upon you to help us do some teaching. Um, and then finally, what I want to know. So, for example, what is this thing he's wearing on his head? Did he wear that when he was battle in battle? Is this a skirt he's wearing? I don't know. Is this his armour? Is it made of gold or is it just coloured gold? Just look at that one picture. I had three questions. So look at your title page. What questions do you have? What do you want to find out? I want to find out about these shields. Why are there these round shields and these rectangular shields? Which were better? Are they from different ages? Um, I want to find out when the Romans came to came to Britain. So have a think about what you want to find out. It can be some more questions or it can just be, oh, I really want to learn more about this. And for today's learning, that is it. That is everything. Um, I have put down for you to do some further learning if you would like to. Now for that, it's just to start researching our topic. Um, you could even, those words I've put on the, in the vocabulary section of the title page, you could look up those if you want to, find out what they mean. Um, I have done the Romans with year five for a couple of years, but when I was doing research for this topic, because obviously we, we um, still do the Romans and Saxons, but in a slightly different way and with a slightly different focus. And I looked up a word the other day that I hadn't really seen when I had done it with year five. I looked up a word and I was just fascinated. I spent about half an hour just looking at this word looking at pictures online I was really fascinated about it and that's the hypercost um word so that's a really amazing thing that the Romans did so that's sort of quite a cool thing you can, I watched YouTube videos about it I watched uh, I looked at pictures I did some reading just, just looking at one word I was just really fascinated so up to you if you want to do some further learning, if you want to look up some of these words, it would be great to find out um, some more about it. And you could write it in your book, what you found out, or draw pictures. That's absolutely fine. That'd be great. OK. Um, oh, one more thing I'm going to tell you is that this term, I'm going to do it slightly differently with the learning, in that I will um, set four lessons on a Monday, oh, four lessons for the week. And then on a Friday, it's not necessarily a lesson, but it's more time where you could do some further research or you could do some activities. So it might be like a word search or a crossword, but it might be doing some art. It might be doing, um, it could be some cooking if you want to. It could be making a poster. It could be finishing off your work for the rest of the week. It kind of, I'm trying to leave it a bit more up to you because also once we come back to school, we only have four lessons of inquiry in a week. So yeah, I'm going to see if that works better for these first two weeks and see how it goes. So I am excited to find out what you want to learn and what you already know about the Romans um, and the Anglo-Saxons. It's a really fun topic. So I hope that you will enjoy it too. OK, bye for now, guys.